One of my favorite websites, Clean Technic, has recently posted electric car sales results. Globally, the numbers are very interesting, but I have to say, they're also quite misleading. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you. Welcome back to everyone else. I'll put a link to our Patreon account in the description below if you want to join us in 2022. That would be fantastic. EV sales in 2021. Of course, everyone knows Tesla was number one, but who was in second, third, fourth, fifth? That is what's most interesting. Now, top auto brands in EV sales. In 2021, let's have a look at December 1st. 170,000 registrations for Tesla, which is staggering, but they actually averaged just over 100,000 sales per month for the last three months in 2021. BYD ended not far from that average for a quarter for the first time with a record 93,293 registrations in December of 2021. Though that is a little bit misleading. Clearly, BYD sales are going to grow massively this year for two reasons. One, their run rate in December of 2021 was pretty incredible. Another reason, they increased their sales for seven straight months over the last half of 2021. Another reason, so maybe I've got three reasons here, is BYD's actually planning to deliver a lot more electric cars this year. Obviously, you need to plan to make something happen. That's important. Clean Technica have posted this graph with Tesla for electric car sales in December of 2021, but they don't mention that this is actually just plug-in vehicles, not electric car sales, plug-ins in general. So if the vehicle has a plug, this is listed here. First place was Tesla with 170,000. I think that's a bit misleading though, because you know that their run rate was really 100,000. Second place was BYD with 93,293. Now remember, half of those vehicles, or nearly half of those vehicles were plug-in hybrids. The other half were purely electric. Next was SGMW with 61,306. And in fourth place was Volkswagen with 47,514. I was a bit surprised by this. I would have thought Volkswagen would sell more than this because many of Volkswagen's cars have a plug. And this isn't just EV sales. So I was a bit surprised by this. Fifth place, BMW, 31,154. Sixth, Mercedes with 25,300. And in seventh, Volvo with 23,608. Now, next up was Great Wall with 22,414. Chinese supplier. Next, another Chinese, Sherry with 20,518. Then Renault with 19,667 and another Chinese seller, SAIC, with 19,635. These sales figures don't include the Wuling Hongwan Mini, by the way. Speaking of the Wuling Hongwan Mini, the SGMW joint venture ended December in third place with a record 61,306,000 registrations. If you haven't heard of the Wuling Hongwan Mini, I'll put some links in the description below to videos I've made about that car. It's a very interesting car and one of the best selling electric cars in the world. In fact, in fact, I believe it was second highest electric car in terms of sales numbers last year globally, even though it was only sold really in one country of China. Surprisingly, outside the top 20 was Ford in 21st place. What about Geely? Some of you have been asking. Geely sold 11,348 electric cars in December, but expect Geely, which is the biggest Chinese automaker in the overall market, to finally start showing up in the bestseller tables in 2022. A final mention goes to Porsche, who sold 10,631 last month, which is an incredible result for Porsche. Very, very impressive to see that. What about for the entire year, from January to December of 2021? Clean Technica has posted the following graph. It is misleading because they don't mention, like I said before, that this includes plug-in hybrids. However, it's still relevant, so let's have a look. Tesla, first place with 936,000 deliveries. BYD second place, 593,000. Remember, that does include their plug-in hybrids as well, which is about half of that number, or a little bit less than half. SGMW, Chinese manufacturer, 456,000. That's primarily the Wuling Hongwan Mini, remember? Which technically is a quadricycle, but I mean, people don't see it that way. They use it as a car, so I think that's irrelevant. Next up, Volkswagen, 319,785. So they sold about one third of Tesla's total. Interestingly, the author of this article, in the comment section, Jose Pontes, claims that he believes Volkswagen may equal Tesla's sales in 2022. I find that hard to believe how Volkswagen is going to go from 300,000 to 
1.6 to 1.8 million next year. That seems to me to be extremely optimistic forecast from the author. I, in fact, would say that, you know, if you're watching this channel, you know that I'm not technically a Tesla brand fan. We talk about lots of different brands here, and I've praised Volkswagen on a number of occasions. In particular, I've praised their CEO, Herbert Dees. But saying that Volkswagen are going to, what's that, 7X, their electric car sales next year, that seems to be, to me, to be just honestly ridiculous. I, I, I'm shocked that they've that he's claimed that. There's no possible justification for that. I've done some, I've spent about three hours researching his claims to see if there was some Volkswagen have any plans this year of somehow 7Xing their electric car sales, and I haven't found anything to back up that information. That's just my two cents. If you know that, it, if you if you know something that I don't, let me know in the comment section below, and then you'll be you'll be educating all of us. Next was BMW in fifth place with 276,000. Next up, SAIC, Chinese manufacturer, with 226,000. Next, we've got Volvo, obviously Chinese as well, with 189,000. Next, Audi, 171,000. Next, Hyundai, 159,000. Then we've got Kia at 158,000. Then Great Wall, Chinese manufacturer, with 137,000. So you can see there's quite a few Chinese manufacturers in that top 10 list. In fact, five of the top 10 there are Chinese because obviously Volvo is owned by Geely. So no, they're not Swedish if you think they are. Sorry, you didn't get a Swedish car. You bought a Chinese car. There's nothing wrong with that, but <laughs> just don't pretend that you. I didn't tell you. That's what the reality is here. So what about the likelihood here that BYD will challenge Tesla? Is that more likely than Volkswagen challenging Tesla? Of course it is. Volkswagen sold half as many plug-in and fully electric cars as BYD did in 2021. And the other thing to consider here is also the fact that BYD does own its own battery factories. It owns vert vertical integration of the car. I think it can probably ramp up a bit faster than Volkswagen can potentially. That seems more likely to me considering how much closer they were to Tesla. I'm not saying closer in terms of electric car sales. I'm saying closer in terms of their overall electric and plug-in electric car sales. So BYD was down by 350,000 from Tesla's total. It does seem possible that they could in, eat into that lead, but I think it's unlikely considering the fact that Tesla will be launching two of the biggest factories in the world this year and also potentially doubling the output at their factory in China. It does seem unlikely. In fact, I think Tesla, if anything, will probably extend their lead on the three manufacturers behind them, BYD, SGMW, and Volkswagen. Interestingly, BMW and Mercedes actually repeated the place that they had in 2020. They were both in the same spots, but SAIC jumped from number 10 to number seven. Now, Clean Technica, or the author of this article on Clean Technica, claims that BYD's growth in its domestic market won't be as big as it was last year. But on the other hand, BYD is said to be betting heavily on overseas markets in 2022. So that could be the path to accelerated growth. Now, I strongly disagree with this author. I don't think he's really done his research, unfortunately, here on the Chinese market, on the size of the Chinese market. I mean, we are talking about the biggest automotive market in the world. So why is it that BYD can't easily double their sales in China next year? It's very, very logical. It's possible. They have cars in almost every single segment. They have medium-sized cars. They have small cars. They have large cars. They have sedans, hatchbacks, SUVs. They're building a pickup truck. They pretty much have every segment covered. In addition to that, they obviously have a wide range of vehicles in all their segments from plug-ins and electrics. So it does seem to me as though it's very possible for that, that BYD could ramp up their sales. And I think if you're going to make the statement to say they can't do that in China next year, you need to back up why that is, why you're making that claim. Give us some statistics and numbers to actually prove that information. Otherwise, you, you're just misleading people. One interesting thing to note, though, is Great Wall Motors. I think Great Wall Motors are going to be a big player in electrification. Great Wall was up to number 12 in December. Well, that was a four position improvement versus 2020. But another even more promising electric car manufacturer from China, not electric only, but Aeon are an electric only company owned by GAC. GAC took the last stage of the race to climb positions. It jumped up to number 14. However, based on Aeon's sales figures in January of this year. Now, January is the second quietest month in China for electric car sales. I predict GAC will be a top 10 global electric car manufacturer this year. And I don't think there's really any doubt in that prediction. If you look at their stats from last year, look at their numbers from January. They sold 16,000 electric cars in January. That's an increase of 118% year on year. However, they increased their car sales every single month last year for 11 straight months. 11 months in a row, they increased their car sales. They appear to be on a run rate likely this year to hit 
approximately 150,000 to 200,000, maybe 200,000 plus electric cars. There are two other companies though in China that you should know about. For the next 12 months, they will be absolutely smashing this market and the Western people will be saying, what's going on here? We, didn't, we never heard of these companies. Oh, well, you should be watching the electric Viking. Nita, Nita delivered. 11,000 vehicles in January. They exceeded 10,000 for the third consecutive month. Now remember last year, they increased their electric car sales figures for 11 straight months in a row. So their sales figures in January this year or last month were 400% higher than their sales figures in January of last year, 400%. If they follow a similar tra trajectory this year, which it looks as though they will, then they will likely deliver 300,000 electric cars this year, 300,000. That is more than Volkswagen delivered worldwide in 2021. That's impressive. They're going to be a big player, big, big player. Who else would be big? Leap Motor. Leap Motor delivered 8,000 electric cars in January. That's an increase of 434% from one year ago. Leap Motor appear to be on potentially a run rate of maybe 200,000 plus EVs delivered this year. But let's not forget Xpeng. Xpeng delivered 100,000 purely electric cars in 2021. However, they aim to deliver 300,000 in 2022, and they aim to sell their electric cars in 25 different markets worldwide within the next two years. Xpeng will be a big player in the electrification of the car. Good chance within two years, you, you'll see a lot of them in your own, whatever country you're in, you're going to see Xpeng vehicles driving around. They're very well priced, very, 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 very well priced when you consider them to their direct competition, which is luxury cars, really. But they're pricing their vehicles more of it at a Toyota level price. I honestly think the Xpeng P5 is a game changer. I made a video about that, and that video was shown on a few different websites, and I think for good reason. It is a game changer. I'll put a link in the description below to that to that vehicle and to why I think that vehicle will have a huge impact on the global electric car market. So now I've been saying this article I think is a little bit misleading. And it, it, the reason is it doesn't really mention that these car manufacturers are selling plug-in hybrids and they're putting these in the charts. However, there is down the bottom of the article a small chart showing you the top five electric automotive groups through 2021. This is as a group, not as a single brand. So the Volkswagen group includes all the brands, including Audi, Skoda, Volkswagen, Seat, Porsche, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Who was number one? Obviously Tesla, 936,000. SAOC was in second place with 609,000. Third place was the Volkswagen group with 451,000 electric cars delivered worldwide. Fourth place was BYD with 323,000. And in fifth place was Hyundai Kia with 216,562. Now, to be fair, I don't think Hyundai and Kia should be added together. They don't, Hyundai only owns 20% of Kia. That to me isn't a, a reason that you should add them together. So individually, they're about 100,000 each. The other thing I would question a little bit is whether or not it's really reasonable to put Volkswagen Group together. Are they actually a group? Very, very complicated ownership structure. Very, in fact, even if you spent 10 hours, 20 hours, 30 hours trying to understand it, you probably still wouldn't. Very, very hard to understand that whole ownership structure and that whole group, how all those brands are owned and, and, and complicated. But anyway, it doesn't matter. You can see here that Volkswagen delivered about half, less than just under half as many electric cars as Tesla did. However, the key thing here, remember going into 2022 for these brands and their electric car sales is not necessarily what they delivered this year. It's, well, that does matter, but it's how many battery packs and how many cars they can produce next year, how fast they can ramp up. I think BYD and Tesla will probably be able to ramp up faster than Volkswagen, thanks to one of the key issues here, vertical integration. Both of them are very vertically integrated. Plus for Tesla, I think their challenge is a little bit easier than BYD's and Volkswagen's because they only make two models of car. The ramping up for them means the number of parts they have is much smaller, the number of platforms, production lines they need is much smaller. And in addition, they're not being held back by the challenges of Legacy Auto, trying to transition from one type of thing. I mean, really right now, Volkswagen is in the process of doing something that's very difficult to do. They're trying to transition from ICE vehicles to electric cars. Only a very small percentage of, of Volkswagen's vehicles sold in 2021 were actually electric. The majority of them, more than 90%, were actually powered by gas, by diesel. Majority was gas. Majority was petrol, I should say for us Aussies and everyone else. That Anyway, doesn't matter. 
The point is, it's going to be challenging. It's going to be more challenging than what people realize for these legacy auto companies, including Hyundai and Kia as well, to transition from petrol cars and diesel cars into electric vehicles and to change their factories and to, to fit all that out. And I think that people just aren't aware of just how difficult that is. But it'll be very interesting to see. And regardless of what happens, one thing is certain. The sales of electric cars will at minimum double in 2022. My prediction is 7 million plus electric cars will be sold in China this year alone, which is staggering. And that's 10% of the entire global automotive market right now. No matter what happens, you, my friend, will have more access to EVs this year than ever before. More models, more vehicles, and prices for many of these vehicles will be lower than recently before. In other words, for many countries around the world, the cheapest EVs will be significantly lower this year than they were last year. And that is the good news. As always, the world is certainly getting better every day. I love it. Have a great week and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.